Keith, oh man, I left you guys with a big uh, cliffhanger there saying this is entering a key zone. Alright, so ETH here, without even looking at the right side of the chart, let's look at ETH historically, okay? We can say that we have volume in this area, okay? Not much though, because every time we've gone up and down this area, we've just kind of gone vertical, right? And you've probably heard me say it a million times, whenever we go vertical whenever we go straight up and down we're just gonna you know there's no volume in that area we're just gonna keep going straight up and down right so if you look at this where have we really gone like sideways and where's our volume on this chart so if we start from here we go down i don't see any volume anywhere until we get down to like right here this area is when we kind of went sideways a little bit so this area is not going to be pretty for ETH. I don't expect it to just straight drop through it, right? I expect it to straight drop through it when we get down to this area, like 947, 950. Like 950, it's going to drop pretty fast from 950 down to like 677. All right? And if you don't believe me, we can just look at ADA. ADA is a perfect example of that, right? Oops. When we looked at ADA up here, right? We said easily once you lost this 75, it was going to drop straight down because look, there's no volume in this area, right? And that's exactly what happened, right? We dropped straight down through this area to the first area where there's volume, right? And the same thing actually happened to ETH, but up above. I think it was above, yeah, like right here. There's no volume in this area either. It mainly just went straight up and down through this area. So if you, if you lose this area 1,000, I mean, it's gonna get really ugly. If you lose 1,000, maybe you get a pit stop at 900. Not much there. Maybe you get a piss up at 900, but then you're dropping all the way down to 650. So, on the more local time frame, though, is that you're kind of entering this area where there's not much volume, right? But on a shorter term. So, there's really not much in this area right here. Right here. There's really not much in this area. And so this is, this is actually pretty scary for ETH. This is pretty scary for ETH because it's getting closer and closer to this drop zone. Most of the other coins are also approaching these drop zones, but you know, for ETH to do it, it's going to be really bad for the market. And you know, all we're doing over time is just getting closer and closer to it. It's not like right around the corner though, you know, cause we still have. You know, it's been a while since we've been down to this area, this 1,000 to 900 area. I mean, July, right? So there's a decent amount of volume in this area, like temporarily right now. So we still have to come down and fill all this order, all these orders in. But it doesn't look great because we're just slowly getting closer and closer over time to this area, to filling these orders and going down. We really are. So... What am I doing for ETH then if I was trading ETH? Well, you know, for something like this, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be looking for longs down here at like 1100 where we'd be making a higher low in this range. You know, because there's not much volume in any of this range, but I would be looking for a a high down here, or sorry, a low down here, to long at at the bottom of this range, at a higher low down here, because you're gonna make a higher low first, and this is gonna be a pretty strong wick, just like this wick was pretty strong, this wick was pretty strong. So, here are the key areas for ETH. First one is gonna be at this area right here. At like 1160. Let me turn on the lines a little bit more because I have this filter turned up. So the key area. So the first one is going to be somewhere in this range of 1155. These are your key areas for ETH. So if you're longing it 1155 in this area down here, that's going to be your first long where we come down and we make a higher low first. And then we come back up 
And maybe we do something more bullish where we come up and test the top of this range. Maybe we test the POC, POC or the value area high, right? The other thing is if we eventually break that, which we could come up and make a lower high and then keep coming back down, it's really going to depend on Bitcoin. The next one I would be looking for is down here. Okay. This area. And I would scatter multiple longs in this area. You know, two or three different longs in these ranges. You know, one at the top, one at the bottom, or one at the top, middle, and bottom of different uh, leverages. The biggest leverage at the very bottom with the tightest stop loss because it's got the highest leverage. And your stop loss is going to be right on the other side of this low, 1074. Because if you make a low, you know, lower low here, I mean, that's much more bearish picture and you know I wouldn't expect the the highs to be that much then if we're that bearish so these are the two key long areas I would be I'm gonna be looking for longs in these areas 1150 to 1160 somewhere in this area maybe a little bit higher maybe do 1188 no that's way too high we're at 1183 right now but I would do it down here where you have a higher low somewhere in this range somewhere like 11, 1166 to 1150. Then the next long is going to be down here. 1098 to 1083. Now, I wouldn't be looking for shorts necessarily in this because, I mean, look how much downside we just have. So I'd be looking more for longs um, on a lot of these coins. After all this downside, we might still have more downside, right? We definitely might. I'm not saying we're done going down, but I'm just saying if I would not be opening up new shorts right now, unless it's above our current price, like a little bit above our current price, or at least I wouldn't be opening up shorts right now at this current price. I would be more tempted to enter long somewhere soon, either at current price or below current price in the nearby vicinity. Like maybe one or two percent below. Hopefully that hopefully that answers your question. Key area short would be a lower high though, twelve oh nine. If we make it up there, it's gonna really depend on Bitcoin here, which doesn't look like the huge bounce right now. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.